Welcome back to South by Southwest with BAM.TV, uh, broadcasting on Justin TV. Uh, right now we have a very, very special guest. NECA is with us. She just got here after touring in Africa, and she's here at South by Southwest, and she's been kind enough to come by our booth and talk a little bit about her music and, and what she's going to be doing in Austin and Austin in general, whatever we want to talk about, we can do that. So, NECA, can you tell us and the people out there first um, where you're from and, um, and the idea that you are singing in your... You sing partly in your native uh, language and in English, so. Okay, as you already mentioned, my name is Neka, Neka Ibuna to be precise. I come from the south of Nigeria to, uh, called Wari, which is known as the oil city of Nigeria. Um, I have been into music for approximately six, seven years. I've released uh, three albums in Europe with Sony and uh, just released my first record for the States in February called Concrete Jungle. So, uh, yeah, I've toured the States twice. We actually finished our last tour three weeks ago in the States. Last stop was Chicago. And then I went to Africa and now I'm back again to Austin um, for this festival. Do you, do to you share go, my message. Do you go back and forth between the two a lot like that, so tight? So, you know, three weeks in the U.S. and then back to Africa? No, I, I live in Nigeria. Okay. So, uh, if there's, I mean, if there's work to do here, right. I come here, I tour, I tour Europe, I tour the States. Right. So, it's like, I don't really have a proper home. Right. It's just the plane and the bus. Gotcha. And so... Um, Most of the time. Recently, you played the Letterman show, correct? Yes, exactly. Can you tell us about that? That's obviously a huge, huge deal for musicians. I mean, that's definitely reaching a level. Yeah. To be honest with you, I never knew how popular the Letterman show was until I was on it. Uh, they gave me three minutes, 30 seconds to prove uh, my potential, or better to say, to prove what I am, and uh, you know, it, I, I first of all I just took it as some regular, regular TV show in the first place, but then eventually after I had performed, I understood how much impact uh, the Letterman has had on 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 my popularity. Now you know, it's, but even in Africa, people acknowledge my music even more after this uh, Letterman thing. So it has definitely helped me reach out to a wider audience, a different audience, not just uh, one, you know, a mixed audience, which is, which is good because it's a global and universal message that I am representing. And it was, it was that dramatic. It was one night and things were different. Like yeah, it was, it was like, yeah. I, I, immediately after I stepped off stage, Facebook was like, it was like, what happened? Then my friends calling me from Nigeria. I'm like, wow, it was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are you playing in Austin? Where can people check you out? Good question. A bunch of places. A bunch of places. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that information up to you guys. I know that we're playing at the parish. We're That's playing nice. here in, inside this place as well. Nice. Greg, where are we playing? Sorry. Yeah. We're at the day stage. K U T U T I believe. K-U-T, sorry, and a couple of other places. Check online. No. And I want to ask you um, one thing. I wanted to ask about is you. Um, you are what your music, uh, victim of truth. Your debut was uh, compared to the miseducation of Lauren Hill, um, and I was just curious as to. Uh, what that, did that have any impact on you? Did that make you feel any different? Was it, is she a... I mean, people always have to compare right. for them to understand the, your message and the, to categorize your music. Right. Um, I look up to people like Lauren Hill and to be compared to somebody like her is actually being disrespectful towards her. I tell you. It's like... You can't do that, you know. 
Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing, right. you know, so it's fine. Do you think that we, like, in the print or in the media, like, there's always, like you're saying, that you have to compare them to someone so you can, so it's, uh, uh, a prospective fan can say, okay, they're like that or like that or they're putting you in these boxes. What, how do you feel about that? This is the world. You cannot avoid it. Yeah. People will always have to stamp you. You're black, you're white, you're Asian, or you're, you, you know, right. you cannot say, you can't dodge it. It's okay. My music is versatile. My music is mixed. My music is, has all sorts of influences, hip-hop, reggae, raga, Afrobeat. So I have my own style, you know. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's a positive message. And, 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 and the message that, you know, people like Lauren Hill or uh, I don't know who else I'm being compared to, mm -hmm. as far as they are positive, then it's all right. You know, we all have one aim, which is to give the, the world love, you know. Yeah. And, and, yeah, it's a good thing. Excellent. So I want to just thank you very much for stopping by with us. Um, I know Thank you, you have too. a very, very busy schedule.